Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Shuffle81. I'm playing a game called Brink. Now, this game is a lot of fun, and let me take care of this really quick. I'm recording. Don't answer back, noob. And he's going to answer back just to be on. So anyway, so this is a nice little first-person shooter game. Um, A lot of people seem to be comparing it to Team Fortress 2, and as you can see, I've already played a little bit of it. Quite a bit of it, actually. But... Let's just go ahead and create a new character. Forty years ago, we um, started building the this. Ark. Back then, it was an experiment, a dream, a self-sustaining city of the future. But then the seas rose. We were forced to relocate, but still our floating Ark became a refuge for tens of thousands. To maintain order, the Ark was divided, and now we're out of time. The Ark is wearing out. No new ship or plane has been seen in 20 years. The new guests live in slums, disease, thirst. Some have formed a resistance that vows to seize power and search for life outside the Ark. Ark's security force says we must have order to survive. So will you save the Ark or escape it? Alright, hello everybody. And yes, do what Kool-Aid said. Give me a like if you have annoying friends. So now we have two different choices. Um, I've I played Escape the Ark last time, so obviously I'm going to click Save the Ark this time. But before I do, these two don't really matter. On your character, you'll still have all your guns, all your customization. Well, not all your customization things, but you have all your guns, all your stats, and everything. And you can and you can play through both campaigns. But I want to go to Save the Ark first. Because I clicked escape the arc last time. Your orders are okay, clear. So you will resolve the situation peacefully and quell well its unrest I without recourse to unnecessary sir, violence. I Lethal force is a last, not a first order. Any and all civilian casualties will result in your immediate dismissal. Not barbarians, Captain Makuena. You, of all people, should remember that. Very clear on this, Captain, ladies. on deck! Men, for the Ark to survive, we must have order. We must save the Ark! Alright, so that, you saw the little opening cinematic. Now we're on the character customization screen. Uh, this can take a while. It can... What the heck? <laughs> All right, so yeah, it can take a while. It might, it can not take a while. So that's what I went with last time. So what the hey? Let's go with that voice. Heading to mine. Ha! This is supply command post upgraded. Weapon upgraded. I'm a medic. Sky's lost. Disarming mine. I'm an engineer. You got the power. Make it count. Let's I'm go with that. MG nest. We'll be permanent. Alright, so now let's select this character. We will go to characters and weapons. Appearance, head, all this good stuff. Uh, I don't like. Oh, wow. Oh, these are some pretty weird ones. That's what I have on my other character. I like it. Face gear. Wow. Now all these that I'm doing right now are purely cosmetic. A good guy. Okay, let's go with that. Just because we can. Wow. Um, this is definitely a bit weird <laughs> jacket
I like that the best. Let's go with the top one. So no. Alright, so that's our appearance customization. It's all purely cosmetic. It does not matter. Whatever you choose, it doesn't matter. So now we have a bunch of weapons. The Gurned AR, it's fair. It's fairly good, but I prefer the Houston AR. We can click on it, and we see all these different attachments that we can add. See here, we have all our um, muzzles and everything. I think you... Yeah, since I've already unlocked these on my other character, they must carry over. So, um, let's just go with the see you gone. Bayonets. The AR drum magazine is definitely the best mag for this one, but I'm going to go with standard because we're starting off and I don't want to get too over the top. And secondaries. Uh, again. Um, you're not supposed to have all of these. They're all unlocked. Now, actually, why don't we start with just the basic. Standard sniper mag. Okay, I don't want a sniper. Let's go with the galactic SMG. No attachments, just keeping it plain vanilla. Called pistol. Oh. Um... Alright, so let's actually start playing now. See, you can play through both of these if you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. But we will start with day one. Start miss mission. Chen's terrorists have seized a Founders Council member. They're holding him in the old Aquarium Visitor Center. Oh my gosh, where's the any key? To force the council into... Alright. Every single day, it's Chen. He ain't leading them nowhere. They don't want to already go. First demonstrations, then riots, now kidnapping. What next? Look, I'm just saying that. Where's this place we're going to again? Fish Farm Visitor Center. And fish. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Station's off. It's showtime. Alright, well that was kind of awesome. So now we're in the game. Um, over, uh, you can hold X at the beginning to refill your ammo. So we are first going to press the middle mouse wheel. We see destroy the door. So we're going to mouse over and let go to select that as our objective. And there's a bunch of parkour stuff around uh, in this game. It's it's a lot of fun just jumping over things. That's why I can't. That's why I can't wait till we unlock the. Uh, well, not. I already have it, but <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. No, what's the word? Um, distracted. That's it. Distracted. See, so yeah, there's our first kill. So special. Cause it's not like we're gonna get ten thousand more. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to get upgrades and stuff that allow you to uh, sprint while reloading. So that's kind of cool. Alright, G, throw a grenade. Yeah, it does hurt people when you hit them, and uh, there are these things called knockdowns. Basically, you melee like that with V, and, um. Wow, this is a kind of a good pistol. I didn't. Alright. So yeah, so you can sprint, ro or, or rather reload while sprinting, and all that. And you see there, I just got knocked down. Um, it can cause major problems in the future, but for now, it, we shouldn't really worry about it. You know, we can refill our ammo again. Oh man, I'm so used to being able to <laughs> run while reloading. Alright, and then you see when they're knocked down like this, they're not actually dead. They can still be revived, but when you slam them like that... Now they're dead. Yeah, there are tons of like really interesting uh, power-ups and stuff in this game for each of the different classes. So it's it's pretty cool. 
Guard your HE charge. It is not mine. And I'm just going to kind of snipe him from above. And now I think we should actually go and play the objective. Uh, th you can also play th all this stuff with multiplayer. Uh, I just voted not to. If you didn't know, I'm recording this during the Brink Free Weekends. Alright. This little cutscene right here, it means that we've completed our first objective. So now we have to escort this hostage out. So escort the hostage right there. This is... This is him. So I think I'm going to run ahead real quick. Medic would definitely be the best choice for this because you can heal people, bring them back to life, all that good stuff. And you also get uh, XP for changing to a certain cl to a, your um, objective class. That's what it's called. <sighs> All right, so it looks like he's headed this way. He does appear to have a gunner of some sort. And now right here is a huge choke point for us, if I remember correctly. So yeah. It might not end that end well. See, if you were on the resistance now, you would also have to escort the hostage, but you'd have the advantage of that huge choke point. So you see, that right there, I just performed a knockdown. And I'm gonna buff my health real health real quick. Health. So all the enemies are pr are really easy in the game, and it's oh revive. And if you press C while running, you'll um do a little slide thing. Oh shoot, he was revived. Yeah, when they're knocked down, that's definitely where they're most vulnerable because you cannot aim down your sights. And your reticle is made a lot larger. So it can be pretty annoying at times. And wow, I am surprised at how good we're doing right now. Not a single death. Alright, I want to kill this guy. Kill him for good. Oh, he's dead. But yeah, see, uh, you can actually go a whole... Um, whole round without any actual uh, gotta focus focus my aim alright screw this oh shoot <sighs> and if you've noticed down in our left hand corner it shows us all the stuff that we can do Um, there's mouse. There's the mouse we mouse button three, which is basically the mouse wheel. If you push it down. Uh, oh shoot! There's a grenade. Uh, I realized that a little too late. Uh, I don't have enough supplies. Then uh, also there's that little bar that's uh, recharging. That is until you can use a different skill, whether it be your grenades or if you, since I'm medic healing somebody, you know all that kind of stuff. Alright, looks like he's down. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we have to guard him. Alright. I don't want to let him use that uh, MG nest, because that would be a very, very bad idea. You're going to die, son. Alright. Buff his health. And I think I'm going to go topside, get a better view on the whole thing. Hmm. Here's the MG nest. They're hilarious when you have tons of enemies swarming towards you. Alright, looks like we're al we should be almost done. And I don't really see any other 